are visiting a biology class by Mr. Piper. I'm really looking forward to that. What have you been doing in this class? Yeah, um, you learned about the first humans and about um, which species survive depending on the environment. And it was kind of a useful lesson um, showing how natural selection works. What was your purpose with this lesson? My purpose with this lesson, well, uh, we're talking about evolution right now. And this is a lesson in which I tried to make the students familiar with some concepts of evolution. And actually you have an experiment performed by them about the natural selection. And they select which animals fit best and which survive. And I can tell them that, I can give them examples, but now they experience this with a hands-on approach. When they are doing this experiment, they experience this for themselves. Were they surprised by the outcome of the experiment? Um, I don't think so. It is, um, as many things in biology, they kind of make sense. You make a prediction at first, and when uh, taking a look at this experiment and thinking about what beetle would be eaten first, uh, many of these students already get an idea of what is going on. So, what could we conclude from this? Green I already green told some things. Guys? Green beetles will get extinct. Green beetles will get extinct. There's a high chance that they will get extinct. You also created a timeline with the students. How did that work? It's uh, uh, an assignment in which they have to uh, work together to make the timeline and to determine the distances of important periods in our um, Earth and uh, history, the history of life, and to start with the single-celled organisms and to put everything in the right order. What did you think of it? Um, I thought it was fun. And um, also, uh, it was very nice to learn in this way than only read and listen to what the teacher says. Thank you very much for the opportunity to visit your class. No problem, anytime. Mm -hmm.